Good evening, I'm Robert Hadlock. Leslie Rohde has the night off. The drought has taken the fireworks out of most 4th of July celebrations, but two local cities are holding tight to their traditional shows. In Hayes County, the fireworks display in Kyle just wrapped up. The same is true to the north in Georgetown. Our Shannon Wolfson begins our live team coverage in Kyle, where that fireworks show has just wrapped up. Shannon? Yeah, Robert, just about 10 minutes ago. Started right on time at 9.30, though. Lasted for about 15 minutes. You're actually getting to see some of those fireworks that we saw here in Kyle just a little while ago. Lots of ooing and aahing for the grand finale, but now is the bad part. You can see this line of traffic stretching all the way to I-35. You want to be careful out here on Kyle Parkway in this area. Now, the goal tonight, obviously, for the organizers of this show was to keep everything safe. It appears they certainly did that earlier today. We got a behind the Scenes look at what it takes to put on a show like this, especially in this extreme drought. It's the launch site we rarely see. We don't have any fireworks that go off less than 100 feet in the air. Good thing, because back on the ground, it's dry as a bone. That allows for the burn rate and any fallout to already have burned out or be cooled down before it hits the ground. Before the big show, technicians like Craig Ludke take plenty of precautions. We've all been through the training. We have fire extinguishers on site, ready at hand, and also always the local fire departments come out. We coordinate with them, do a wet down in the fallout area if they need to, or just be on standby. With hundreds of explosives on the ground, two fire engines stay on standby, and with a fallout area of more than 400 feet, there's a lot to think about. This here is all going to be uh, straight up. So we're going to have a very select fallout area. To be safe, the Kyle Show eliminated the so-called cake fireworks, the ones that spray out instead of up. That's just the size of the shell. It's a six inch. Uh, goes in one of these and uh, launches and make sure your ears ring. The company putting on the show is called Bay Fireworks. At the beginning of this year, they had 28 shows booked for this weekend. They ended up with just two. It's better safe than sorry, in my opinion. Most, most cities just don't want to take that risk. These guys know all about a drought. Back live in Kyle now, where you can see the uh, end of the fireworks show has created some pretty nasty traffic snarls here on Kyle Parkway. Look how long this line stretches, at least a mile back from I-35 all along Kyle Parkway. But I bet if you ask some of these people, they'll say it's worth it because uh, lots of them didn't think they were going to get to see any fireworks this year. But my colleague Doug Shoup up to the north in Georgetown just got to see some as well. Doug, let's check in with you. Happy 4th of July to you, Shannon, and to everyone at home. The bank